What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. Sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? 
I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and... lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Saren's, uh, what was Benezi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. That's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough, but they didn't. 
caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tazoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. You have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're part of the team, Williams. 
I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him. Permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. <laughs> Like an equal. 
That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission, and I need all the help I can get on this one. Don't worry. You can always count on me. I should go. See you later. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out.
got him. I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon.
like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I have to go. All right, see you. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So, Dr. Tassoni, are all Asari biotics? I heard Lieutenant Alenko say something about you not needing implants. While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. Wow. To have so many potential biotics that people can choose not to train? I imagine... Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. No, I'm... Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on... The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we... Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out.
Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead, and I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. I would have helped if you'd just told me the truth. Perhaps you're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Sec, looking you up. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy.
Commander, I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Oh, sure. I can return that for you. Thanks. Hasn't worked well since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? Here you go. Your account will be credited. You did! You took his return! Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? I can't take it back unless... I know, I know. Unless I have a proof of purchase. 